are talking Blood Moon from 1990. This Australian slasher fic was directed by Alec Mills. Now the story is set in this area where there is a kind of Catholic school for young girls. And there seems to be a, a kind of rash of disappearances. And we learn early on, mild spoiler here, it's revealed pretty early, that there is actually a killer on campus in the form of this particular teacher who is sexually frustrated because his wife is constantly kind of having affairs and berating him and stuff. So he's taking his sexual frustrations out on these kind of young girls who are sneaking out to meet the boys from the, uh, the local boys school and everything. Uh, and his method of killing or his favorite chosen uh, weapon is to garrot them with barbed wire. And it's up to the kind of the local uh, police sergeant to maybe catch on what's going on before he kills a swathe through the school of populace. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let us discuss Blood Moon. What works in this movie's favour? It has a little bit of a giallo feel to it. So if you are a fan of uh, giallo movies, you may want to kind of check this one out. But it has that Aussie charm to it as well. Um, and it feels very much, a, a you know, a movie of its time with kind of like haircuts and fashions and things like that. Uh, and if you were a fan of Australian soaps growing up, it has actually a soapy element to it as well as we have the, um, a lot of the kind of the B story lines here uh, involving this kind of rivalry between the kind of the haves and have nots and these kind of uh, these like, little love stories between these uh, the boys schools and the girls schools and things like that. So there's a lot of kind of melodrama in this as well. It also has a kind of a kinky edge to it where he's this kind of there's a sexual undertone here where this guy is, you know, he's he knows his wife is, for example, who is the headmistress of this girl's school, is knocking off the kind of the uh, the male school students of, of the local school and stuff, and you know he's feeling emasculated and things, and is is kind of taking this sexual frustration out on uh, young couples in love and stuff. So it has this kind of sexual edge to it, and there is a reasonable amount of kind of topless women and things like that so it has this kind of a little bit of a kind of a kinky factor the movie opens pretty strong with a somewhat kind of gory kill uh, we even kind of get eye gouging and things like this i feel the movie kind of somewhat kind of isn't never really kind of lives up to that again however to be honest but uh, yeah there is a couple of, of kind of like uh reasonably gory kills but nothing i don't think as brutal as the the opening kill to be honest um I actually think the uh, the the fact that we don't have a kind of a masked serial killer and it's he's not kind of really a kind of a you know character slasher like you know the likes of Jason or Halloween makes for it more of a serial killer feel than a kind of a slasher movie per se. Uh, hence, when again again I maybe use a bit somewhat of a giallo kind of feel to it, and I have to say as the movie goes and I do feel it kind of improves in quality. Uh, now that brings me to what I think doesn't work because I feel the first half of this movie outside of the opening sequence is very dull um, because it, it, it just focuses on the kind of the uh, the relationships and the kind of the melodrama between our kind of our students particularly focusing on as I say this kind of rivalry between uh, the, the kind of the haves and have nots and it that never really goes anywhere if I'm completely honest it kind of sets all this stuff up and it almost feels like you're watching kind of like a teen comedy, like, um, you know, uh, Porky's or something along the lines of that. Uh, but then it kind of doesn't really ever go anywhere with it, to be honest. It, kind of, it introduces it and then sort of nothing is done, so to speak. And I have to say, uh, it, it kind of drags. What I'd also say doesn't help with that is I feel like we never really got a main character as such. The movie does focus um, a little bit on this particular kind of couple but, but I have to be honest with you the amount of kind of screen time that they actually get in characterization they'd be kind of that that would be as much as a, a supporting character would get in a kind of a adjacent film we really don't I don't I didn't feel like we had a a kind of essential character that we were kind of like 
you know, the POV, so to speak, or we weren't, we weren't really put in their shoes. Because the movie does kind of, kind of uh, flip focus between, you know, different kind of characters. The police chief, for example, feels like he's going to be the main, or the police sergeant, sorry, feels like he's going to be the main character at some point. And then we spend a lot of time with the kind of the killers, actually, you know. So um, they, they get a kind of a reasonable amount of, of, of kind of, uh, of screen time and, and uh, interaction between this kind of husband and wife. So the, the movie feels like uh, um, a little bit unfocused, I have to say. Now the film does, I think, get better in the second half, where I feel the kind of the, the menace it, it gets a little bit greater because we kind of know, as I say, the killer is, is revealed relatively kind of early on, and from there you kind of you're understanding that he is this kind of guy who is, who just feels kind of berated and uh, frustrated. So. You know, you feel he's kind of unpredictable, but you know, it's it's it takes a while to get there. To be honest with you, uh, and as I alluded to earlier, I don't really feel it gets particularly kind of um, too kind of graphic, and I feel it, it almost, if you excuse the phrase, blows its wad quite early in the opening sequence. With certainly the most. Uh, you know, outrageous kill is the first one you'll kind of see. A lot of the kills are at a distance, or they're kind of quite uninspired, you know, or they're they're just, you know, a knife in the kind of someone. It's, it's not particularly kind of interesting outside of maybe one sequence in in a classroom, which is, but it's still not as uh, as strong as the uh, the opening sequence. Overall, I have to say it's it's watchable. Um, it's okay but it's 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 fairly forgettable um it's if you like a kind of a sexual edge to a horror movie then you may want to check this one out if you're a fan of kind of slash and stuff but it was it was fairly kind of flat in regards to sort of character work here i didn't think the killer um was all that visually kind of interesting it's just this big sweaty dude at the end of the day um yeah so it, i'll give this one a four out of ten it, it wasn't Bad, but it was subpar. It was less than average, if you ask me. Hence, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.